Cyberbullying is any form of bullying that is carried out through the use of electronic media devices, such as computers, laptops, smartphones, tablets or gaming consoles. It often occurs in the context of relationship difficulties, such as the breakup of a friendship or romance. It might be motivated by the envy of a fellow student's success, or by prejudice and tolerance of particular groups of people on the grounds of gender, ethnicity, sexual orientation, disability, or other characteristics. Cyberbullying can extend into the target's life at all times of the day and night. Being the victim of cyberbullying can be a devastating experience and can affect every aspect of a person's life long after the bullying has stopped. The effects of cyberbullying include emotional distress such as frustration, fear, sadness, shame and anger. It can have a negative effect on the victim's academic achievement due to poor concentration, absenteeism and low commitment. The victim may experience low self-esteem, loneliness and social isolation. They may develop psychological and behavioural difficulties such as depression and anxiety. The physical impact of cyberbullying can include substance abuse, suicidal thoughts and self-harm. If you are a victim of cyberbullying, you may be afraid or embarrassed to report it. It can seem particularly daunting if the cyberbully is generally liked, admired or respected for some position of authority. However, it is important for you to seek help if you feel like you're being bullied. You can contact the university's Students First Department by phone, email or in person to discuss your experiences confidentially. Students First staff can provide emotional support as well as practical guidance on how to deal with cyberbullying. As well as seeking supports from the Students First Department, here are some other steps you can take. Try not to return the abuse. Cyberbullying can be very frustrating, but it is unlikely that returning the abuse will deter your bully. You should block the cyberbully and make a record of the date, time and description of the attack. If the cyberbullying takes place on a social media platform like Facebook, Snapchat or Twitter, you can report the event directly to that platform. Keep any messages as evidence of the cyberbullying behaviour. You should also screenshot and print out copies of the cyberbullying communication. Use the hard copies to report the cyberbullying behaviour to mobile phone and internet providers. Anyone can make a complaint to the police about bullying. If you're reporting cyberbullying, keep a record of the date and time of the calls, emails or texts. Don't delete any messages you receive. If you believe that you or someone else is at risk of immediate physical harm, call 999. Finally, don't underestimate the impact cyberbullying can have on your mental health. If you need emotional support, the Students First Department can help you. Alternatively, you can contact your own GP to access mental health support through the NHS.